Greetings, Sports Fans Nationwide. You have entered the Sports Opinion Log here on Lex Anderson World. And initially, this video was supposed to be an NBA recap of the games last night. As we already know, my and your LA Lakers defeated the Cleveland Cavaliers 100-86 to final score. But the most intriguing game was last night, Brooklyn Nets on the road, taking on the Detroit Pistons, Blake Kia Griffin's former team. Final score, 113-111. The Brooklyn Nets get the victory, and post-game, James Harden, when asked if he should be considered a front-runner for MVP, he says, I am the NBA MVP. Shout-out to FTWLES representing Red Eye Sweeties on the gram. I'm going to make sure to drop the name in the description below. Top 1% of people sportscast Alex Anderson is going to break down right here and now why James Harden should be this year's NBA MVP. Let's go. Which is why I'm also wearing this Adidas outfit because that is the brand that represents James Harden. And here's the thing. Yes, I have always been vocal in criticizing Harden for the way he quit on the Houston Rockets in the manner in which he's been surrounded by numerous multiple, you know, NBA all-star superstar players and not being able to turn the corner. But he comes to Brooklyn. And by the way, as of the making of this video, LaMarcus Aldridge will be signing with the Brooklyn Nets. And the world, the ignorant masses and the sheeple are going all upside down like, oh my God, they have six all-stars. But hold on, sheeple, hold on, ignorant masses, because if you truly know the NBA, if you truly know NBA about the Brooklyn Nets, you would know that the Nets of Harden, Kyrie, and Durant have only played a total of six games. Durant is still out. I, the prophet, had told you, watch out for Durant with the recovery on the Achilles tendon injury. And it has been fulfilled. He is still out. Oddball Kyrie Irving, he's always taking off for personal matters, like his birthday. So people could say that Harden tried to join the Brooklyn Nets for an easy championship, which there's no such motherfucking thing as an easy championship. This man has come in to Brooklyn and has been playing the minutes. He's been putting in the work. He's been dropping triple doubles like crazy. He's been averaging 25.5 points, 11.4 assists, and 8.7 rebounds since he's got in there. Did he not earlier this week beat the Portland Trailblazers? Hello, with Dame time? Remember, remember, he beat the Trailblazers with McCollum and Dame time with out Kyrie and Durant. In the victory against the Pistons, clearly uh, Blake Griffin came to play with 17 points. But again, it is Harden with the 44 points and the 14 rebounds who is doing it all for the Brooklyn Nets. And let's not forget, was it not January 31st? Five-point lead, 12.3 seconds against the Washington Wizards that the Nets blew the lead, and lost the game. And what has happened since then? The Brooklyn Nets had won a season-high eight games in a row. They went out on the West Coast and returned 5-0. and oh. How does Harden not get to be a front runner for the MVP? And of course, representing Laker Nation, I have to give it up because the King, LeBron James, the chosen one, we are all witnesses to his greatness. He is out with the ankle injury, and attendance counts. Harden has proven to be very durable during his NBA career. The 870 games that Harden has played since he entered the league in 2009 is the most of any player. And you know what? Attendance to the top one percenter and people sportscaster is very, very important. Think about it, sports fans. Since he got there, Durant has missed 21 games. Oddball Kyrie Irving has missed seven or eight games. Surely Harden did not envision that when he was going, 
to the Brooklyn Nets that he would be expected to carry the load, but he's doing it. He's keeping his teammates involved. The triple doubles are dropping, and they're getting wins. Unlike the Pelicans, whenever Zion Williamson has a dominant game, which usually tends to end in a loss. F-T-W-L-E-S, that is for you. So just got to state it for what it is. The stats are nice, but are you winning? That is what clearly matters most. He is fourth in the league with 28 double-doubles, tied for second with 11 triple-doubles, and he's one triple-double away from Jason Kidd's single-season franchise record of 12. And again, James Harden had just got here. Or how about this? He is eighth all-time with 57 career triple-doubles, two behind Larry Bird. His 40-point triple-double against Indiana on Wednesday was the second in franchise history, Vince Carter 2007. And Wednesday, Harden became the first player in franchise history to record at least 35 points and 15 assists in a game. And how about this? On Monday, Harden had become the first player in franchise history to record at least 15 points, rebounds, and assists in a single game. He also leads the league in assists at 11.2 and minutes played per game, 38. It seems to me that this is all the qualifications for the man to be NBA MVP. And here's some more fun stats. In that victory over the Portland Trail Blazers, again, where he was by himself, well, not by himself, but, you know, the only superstar, career-high 17 assists to go with 25 points and 7 rebounds. The 17 assists was the most by a Nets player since Deron Williams in 2012. In just 30 games, he has 18 games with 20-plus points and 10-plus assists, which is three games behind Kenny Anderson with 21 for the most in a single season for the Nets. This has to be respected. And last but not least, which is to me the most important thing, James Harden is a humanitarian. Even though he's playing here in Brooklyn for the Nets, he has not forgotten the people in Houston where that bad winter weather storm that devastated homes all across the state. Harden's restaurant, 13, has been providing help to people with food. James Harden Restaurant 13 established a drive through donation for nearly 3,000 meals for residents in need. And the following week, they donated 100 meals per day to five different local high schools, along with another 150 meals to local low-income senior citizen center. James Harden, who in 2015 signed a 13-year, $200 million deal with Adidas, is sharing the wealth. And he's also actually doing it here in Brooklyn as well. Instead of taking his budget, you know, the Adidas budget, to market his stuff all over Brooklyn, James Harden has chosen 25 local minority-owned businesses to display the sneaker signage in their storefront bringing in cash and awareness into these local stores. I mean, like, this man's doing great things on and off the court. So basically, the budgeted media funds are being used in small businesses like Brooklyn Tea, barbershops such as Brooklyn Tonsorial, restaurants such as BK9 Kitchen and Bar, and Brooklyn Biso Restaurant and Bar, where they're putting signage in the windows. And I mean, like... This is a win-win, and according to Harden, words from Harden's exact words, obviously it's a short window since I've been here, but I feel like myself and Adidas are going to try to make an impact and footprint on this beautiful city because Brooklyn deserves it. So there you have it, sports fans nationwide. James Harden, you've got the vote, the stamp, the seal of approval from the top one percenter and the people sportscaster, Lex Anderson. So let it ring true through all the social media. James Harden for MVP. Shout out again one more time. F-T-W-L-E-S, repping the brand. Red Eye Sweeties on the gram. The name is going to be in the bio below. Check them out on the gram. Until next time, sports fans nationwide, Lex Anderson signing out.